Hello friends. In today's video lecture, we are going to discuss the next concept in the operating system process theory, which is called as the process control block. And in short, it is called as PCB or sometimes also asked as task control block. So to understand that, first consider uh, it's uh, a process in the operating system's memory. So in operating system, each process each process is represented by a process control block means in a computer system if a process is running or you can say executing then it is represented by a PCB or TCB the task control block it is a kind of you know data structure you know uh, it is a kind of data structure that physically represents physically represents a process in the memory of computer means it is used to represent the physical structure of a process in the memory of a computer so it contains many information as we know when a process is running in the computer system it contains uh, you know uh, it consists of various uh, information associated with with it so uh, pcb is used to represent that uh, information so it contains many pieces of information which is associated with a process that includes the following or represented like I am going to draw a block structure for this in which first part contains two information which is called as a pointer part and this is called as process state part next it contains process number then it represents program counter then it contains the information of CPU registers then memory information in the form of memory limits of a process then list of open files and so on and many small small information so if we see this process state is nothing but we discussed in the last lecture the process life cycle or the process state transition diagram so it they may be new ready running you know waiting and terminated etc the process number denotes 
the process id which in computer system allocates to a particular process just like our row numbers in the class every process is you know containing a unique id with it which is denoted by this process number this program counter denotes the next instruction to be executed means what is the next instruction in a program which is going to be executed next registers denote the cpu state cpu states in the form of index registers for a process stack pointers etc stack pointers etc this memory limit information contains the memory management information like how much memory a process is containing how much page rev information how much uh, you know uh, the content of page table and all uh, the limit registers page tables etc so it generally contains the information of limit registers page tables etc and at last this list of open files is nothing but the io state or io status info that is what are the input output devices a process is using and what are the various files or uh, input files or output files a process is using for its execution this is denoted by this list of open files information so by means of this diagram or this process control block a process in a computer system uh, uh, is maintained in by which any computer system or any operating system keeps track of the number of process it is executing the number of process it is having in the waiting state number of process which are finished or terminated the number of process which are ready to be executed their process id their next instructions their cpu uh, status their memory management information and all so by means of this a process uh, a computer system keeps track thank you so much in the next lecture we will discuss the concept of process switching with the help of pcbs thank you